Hello, everyone. Well, unfortunately, I have to inform all of you that Binary Domain is officially cancelled. There really isn't anything I can do about it, because, you know, it's a copyright issue. For some reason, Sega just does not want people, you know, less playing anything basically beyond the start of Chapter 5. Spirit sent me a video of another user who was doing a Let's Play, and this was way back in like 2012, by the way. But apparently there was there was another user that was trying to Let's Play this game, and they got up to about the same point I did. They got just a little bit further than me, I believe. But a little bit after that, it's like all of their videos apparently got hit with copyright claims. And... Yeah, and apparently there were some... I didn't actually see any other videos, but apparently there are other users who were Let's Playing it around the same time, and they also, you know, got near that point, supposedly, and, you know, the content ID system just started, like, auto-blocking, like, any video that was uploaded past that point, I guess. It just, it just seems like Sega has something set up, you know, with the YouTube's content ID system that basically just makes all the videos... Like, like it, I'm guessing it's set up so it recognizes everything past that certain point and, you know, basically just auto-blocks it because obviously Sega doesn't want the entire game shown on YouTube and... You know what, I can actually understand that. I'm not mad or resentful towards Sega at all, because, you know, it's their property, and they have every legal right to do that. It's just, it would have been really nice if I'd actually known that, you know? Like, it'd be nice if there was, like, an actual clear policy on what we can and cannot do on YouTube with certain games. Like, if I'd known this, I wouldn't have even Let's Played it to begin with. But... Yeah, like I, I just wish that they they would be a little bit more clear on their policy about these things. But anyway, I have a feeling that you know, it's like at first I was going to cut out that cutscene because, like I said in the previous video, it seemed like it was the cutscene at the start of chapter five that was triggering the copyright notice due to visual content. But from what I've heard, I can only assume that basically. Everything from Chapter 5 onwards is some kind of copyright minefield, and there's just really nothing that I'll probably be able to do. It's like if I do cut that out and somehow get the video up, I wouldn't be surprised if something in the later parts also triggered a copyright thing and, you know, blocked off the video. So, yeah, I mean, I regret to do it, but, you know, it's... What I gotta do, I guess. I, I will not be I will not be deleting um the rest of the let's play. I, I will be leaving the videos up because I think they're safe to leave up, and I'm sure some people enjoyed those videos. So I, I will be leaving what I have done up, but there will not be any more, unfortunately. So yeah, um I guess, you know, that, that's about it. All I really have to say. Also, this video is going to be, um, this video, um, by the way, I've discovered a feature on my Audacity which should make doing the audio editing way, way, way faster, and I'll be using it on this video. So tell me if it sounds out of the ordinary or sounds like worse than, you know, like better or worse. It probably won't be better, but if it sounds worse than usual. See, what I'm using is a soft limiter, which basically it automatically lowers all noise that is like above a certain threshold. So I basically set it to limit what I already like manually limited all the different little sound spikes to, you know, one by one. And it didn't seem to really have any kind of negative effect. I listened to it in headphones as well, and it didn't really seem to have any kind of bad effect. Like, basically, it typically just lowers the, the spikes that are above a certain, you know, threshold, and it did seem to lower the rest of the clip just a little bit. Like, even the quieter portions were lowered slightly, but it wasn't enough to really make any difference from what I could tell. And yes, I'll, I'll admit, I mean, I'll admit this is kind of an easy way to do it. it, it I mean, 
but it literally, if this works, and if I can do it this way, this would literally save me hours of editing time. Like, I could get clips edited and, you know, uploaded so much quicker, and more, more efficiently, rather, than I currently do. Because, I mean, the way I do it, I currently have to, like, just sit around... I basically just have to sit around, you know, just lowering little audio spikes, like, one by one. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Like, why don't I open it up right now and show you guys what I mean? I I'm going to show you guys, like, exactly what I mean. Hold on. Like, for example, uh, this. Okay, now basically, see, I try to lower everything to it, um, well, basically like this. Like, first I gotta, this is actually a tamer clip, I suppose. It's not really, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, see, see, look at all these high audio spikes right here. See, these are what I get rid of. You guys want to see what I do? This is what I do. First off, obviously, I have to zoom down closer like this. Now, what I do is I will highlight them like this, and then... Well, I basically do it like this. I amplify it. Well, first off, I look at what it currently is. I try to make everything like minus 5 dB. What does dB stand for, by the way? I actually don't know. But I try to make it like minus 5 dB across the board. See, this one is currently at 1.4. So what I'm going to do is take away 4.6 from it and... Oh, wait, actually, that... I, I, I... Wait, I derped. <laughs> Hold on. I derped. Actually, what I want to do is... Uh, take away... 3.6. There we go. And it's basically at around 5. Well, I shouldn't say minus 5. I actually put it at about 5. 5 dB across the board. And I like, I like to add 2. 5 plus 2 it equals 7. Good number. Yeah, basically, that, that's how I'm getting the audio on all my videos, and obviously, well, as you can see, this is what I do. Like, I go through the clip little by little, and turning down every one of these spikes, like, individually, and you guys have no idea how long that takes. Especially for longer clips where there's a lot of talking, but if I do it like this... Um, if I go to the limiter, and then I turn on the soft limit like this boom it basically turns down all of those high spikes at the same time and it yeah you saw that the quieter portions they may have went down just a little bit but not by much at all and well yeah what you're hearing right now it, it, it's the result of doing this basically because I'm gonna do the same thing with this one but yeah Wow, I think this I think this portion of the video is turning out to be longer than the binary domain portion, but like as you can see though, it's like if I was to go into amplify now. See, it's like five across the board, so it's good. But um Yeah, it's like like that would have normally taken me probably about fifteen to twenty minutes to do, and I could just do it in like five seconds. <laughs> like that. And that would obviously save me a lot of time. And it seems to work. I mean, you know, if this video sounds good too, then you guys know that this method works and doesn't seem to have any negative effects. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> but, anyway. I, I guess that's about it. So, yeah. Uh, see you guys in whatever I record next. It will probably be more Unreal 2 and Half-Life. I also need to continue I Done Wanna Be Anything 2 at some point. I mean, I've been putting that off for a while now. I, I really need to try to get back to that game. I gotta go hunting for items. But anyway, see you guys.